So what's the real value of a quarter? It's worth 25 cents once it ends up in the bank or a store, or in your pocket or purse. But what goes into a quarter is really only worth a few pennies. And it's not till it leaves the mint that it becomes real money. The U.S. Mint in Philadelphia makes an average of three million new quarters every day. And they all start out like this. As huge rolls of nickel-plated copper. When quarters were first minted back in the 1790s, they were made mostly of silver. But in 1965, silver was becoming scarce. So the U.S. government switched to this nickel-plated copper. To turn it into quarters, the rolls feed into a blanking machine that stamps out nearly 300,000 quarter blanks from each roll. The blanks spill into collection bins. And while it may look and sound like you've hit the jackpot, think again. The blanks are just plain, round disks at this stage. There's no heads or tails, and they're still not worth a quarter. They're at least about the size of a real quarter, but these blanks are in for a huge upset before they become real money. That's because the blanks have to survive a run through a powerful machine called an upsetting mill so-called because it upsets or raises the rims of the blanks along their edges. To raise the rims, the mill forces the blanks through a very tight squeeze. So we ask them to slow it down so we can see what happens. The blanks feed into the gap between a rotating steel disc and a steel rail. The gap is a fraction of an inch narrower than the width of the quarter. So the edges of the discs have to squish in and rise up to squeeze through the gap. And that leaves the blank with the raised rim you feel around the edge of a coin. The rim is needed so the quarters can stack. And it also helps the blank hold its shape during what comes next. The coining press, where the blanks finally start to look like quarters. That's because a hammer pounds each blank between two dies, like these. One of the dies imprints the head's design on one side of the blank, and the other adds the tails. And talk about shaking your money maker. The coining press works so fast, it can strike 750 blanks every minute. So it literally makes $187.50 a minute and more than $11,000 every hour. An inspector scrutinizes random coins as they spill out of the press to make sure there are no scratches or other flaws. And if the samples pass, the coins spill out of the press and into an automatic counter that fills giant totes with 200,000 quarters, or a value of $50,000. But even now, these quarters aren't worth a quarter. They don't become money until they're released to banks. Next, See how water cuts through glass.